The three things I think people are, are, are mixing up, if I may, is, is social distancing, self-quarantine and isolation. The social distancing is what every citizen should be doing now. Each, each one of us should be reducing our going out, re reducing our interaction with everybody. So social distancing is for everybody. Self-quarantine, if I can give an example, is when my son arrived from, from England last week. He could have had a possible exposure. So he's self-quarantining at home. By being at home, he stays in his room. Um, if he comes down for meals, we keep a, a good distance away from each other, two meters. We don't mix our utensils and beddings. Okay? But he's not unwell. He's self-quarantining himself because he could have had an exposure. The so self-quarantine is, is for 14 days. And the reason for 14 days is if I get exposure to the virus today, I can develop symptoms any time between 2 to 14 days. So to be absolutely sure that I, if I'm incubating the virus, I do not transmit it, uh, the WHO has come up with the, the period of 14 days. Isolation, on the other hand, is somebody who, who is symptomatic, somebody who has the symptoms, or has been tested corona posit coronavirus positive, but is not sick enough to be in hospital. So patients who, who have fever, cough, shortness of breath, are, have been asked to self-isolate themselves at home. So they do not interact with people in the house and stay in a room. Uh, people who have been tested positive for coronavirus, but are not sick enough to be admitted to hospital, are, are self-isolating at home. So if I have self-isolation and I have the symptoms today, um, I'm, I'm, I'm in self-isolation for 14 days. Within the 14 days, I will either get better or if I deteriorate is then when I'm supposed to go to the healthcare facility to get more help.